so it's 6.42 on Saturday, August 24th, and here's my car, and I'm moving into Penn State University for my freshman year, and I was already there for the summer, so that's why my car isn't packed to the max. This is mostly just, like, pillows and clothes, and just, like, a little extra knickknacks that I didn't need for the summer, so if we go through a little bit, right here is my laundry basket that's holding my blankets and my big fuzzy coat right there. Here's my pillows that I needed at home. Back there is two suitcases that's holding my clothes. So that has like more like jeans and stuff in it that I didn't really need for the summer. Right here's my backpack that I don't know if I'm gonna keep except for the one in the front that I'm gonna use for classes. And this one is just holding my raincoat in a heavier jacket. Here's my foam thing. And then here there's food, pillows, and I think just like a few other like perfumes and stuff. And then amongst there, there's some toiletries and some extra stuff. So we're planning to leave at 7 o'clock, so that's in about like 17 minutes. So before then, I think I'm just going to like take a loop around the house and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. And just hope that I don't have to put anything else in the car because I don't really want to deal with all this stuff today. Hey guys, so I'm really excited about this video. As you can tell, I'm in my dorm room and if this is a little shaky, it's because I'm on like the worst tripod ever. But I've been here for like seven weeks now and I've recorded this room tour maybe like four or five times, but every time I'm like, it's too shaky, I sound disgusting, or like even the last time I had it like oriented the wrong way. But here I am in my dorm. I go to Penn State University. I'm a freshman, and if you're wondering, I'm in Tenor Hall, which is the newest dorm. It was literally redone a week before I got here. So just keep on watching, and I hope you enjoy and don't get bored of me. So here's my room tour. So there's people outside in the hall, so I can really talk. But this is what my front door looks like, and we also have a window with a really nice view. So then once you open the door, here's a quick overview of the room. That's my side, and then on the right is my roommate's side. So, this is the door. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty sturdy door. It's got its typical lock and everything. And then right here on the handle, we have this door stop, which doesn't really work, but my roommate got it from Target. We had it for the first, like, week. We, like, just kept our door open and everything, and my roommate was also nice enough to bring this little coat rack. I guess it would be, but we just use it for our raincoats. So, this is hers. That's mine. I keep my turvy twist on it, my towel. Someone stole my other towels. <laughs> and then she also keeps her towels there. And then right next to the door is a light switch. Works on and off like this, and that's about it. So again, I know I just showed you a little overview, but here's an overview of my side because I'm gonna be focusing on that first. So let's start getting into what we got in here. So I will show my roommate's side just to let you know that this is what the furniture does come like. It comes in like a row, so it's bed, desk, and then dresser or wardrobe, whatever you want to call it. The second I got here, I was like, I do not like that. I want a little nook, so this is how I changed it up a little bit. Luckily, the wardrobe fit this way on my side, but I don't think it would have fit on her side, so that's just how it is. So yes, Penn State uh, provides you all the brown wooden furniture that I'm about to show you. So on the top of my wardrobe, I have a laundry basket that has my dryer sheets in it, some Tide Pods, and then the box for my fish's tank. Speaking of my fish, here he is right here. I have his tank right up here. I keep his food and behind I have a cup that I'll use in the room and an extra water bottle. Right behind there I have a little container that I keep like all my extras like extra razors, lip balm, shampoo, whatever you want. And then right here I have my extra detergent because I actually do have like detergent up there. My cup that I usually use to make oatmeal or anything else, a uh, disposable camera and then I think instructions for like my fish tank or something. I skipped a shelf by accident, but here's my medicine box that my mom made for me. I have literally everything, so my friends always come for me. I have like every kind of like Advil and all that, so I'm always stuffed when I get sick. And then below the fish tank, we'll take it down. Here's the little cubby that you could technically use for more clothes. Like it's a pretty big length that like you put shirts here, but I was able to fit it all into the big part. So right here, I just keep my bag which has my dance shoes in it and also another sweatshirt just for when I'm walking to dance because I am on the Irish dance team. Below is some extra binders and folders in case I end up getting more work and I need to store it somewhere. 
behind I have my chain jacket and a few extra hangers for clothes that are in like my um, laundry basket right now. Below right there, this box used to be filled with snacks, but I sadly ate all of them, so it's empty right now. Currently waiting for my parents to come for parents' weekend so they can get me more food. So right here, I'll open the wardrobe. It comes with a pretty sturdy magnet and a handle right there. And it does come with a mirror, which is very nice because I didn't bring one. So then there's a pretty big rack up there that I keep all my shirts I have in rainbow order. And then I have like jean jackets and then skirts and then going into like my overalls. And then I have one winter jacket until my parents bring my other one. Right here below I keep my toiletry thing with all the things that I'm always bringing to the bathroom. This is just on top because I used it this morning. A little bit behind in the back I have a few extra like bags that I brought to bring down my makeup and like brushes and stuff. I mean, speaking of, in this blue container that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond, I have like literally everything. So I have my makeup brushes, vitamins, face masks, perfume, lotion, q-tips, cotton balls, everything basically. And then I forgot to mention, but this is from Target. Literally everyone has it. I think it was like 20 bucks and it's really good because it has like holes in the bottom. Which does get my wardrobe wet, so that's why I put this paper towel here. Paper towel. <laughs> face cloth. So closing that, we go down to the drawers below. So my first drawer on top, which you can lock, but I don't really have anything that I want to lock. I have my sweatshirts, just folded up right here. I think I have like six or so. And then right below, I have literally like bathing suit tops, fun things, <laughs> and they're like shorts, my Penn State jersey bras, underwear socks, my belt, literally everything is in there. And then right here we'll finish the cubicle area with my desk. Right behind here I have this over the summer in my dorm. I made it. It's like a big picture from that I had that I just glued string and got little navy clips across and I just printed out pictures at CVS and there were a few extra so I put them right here. And then right below here I have my weekly to-do list technically but it's actually just my schedule for the fall semester so if you want to see any of the classes I'm taking they're right there. Then right here I have a little note that my mom sent me when she sent me a package recently. And then also, on my first night here during summer session, they made us all these street signs and I hung this up with um, command hooks things. And then to cover up the ones at the bottom, I put the two pom-poms that I got with the first two games this season. So this desk and chair are provided by the university, so I guess we'll start with a chair. It's just a wheelie chair, pretty ordinary. And I didn't have anywhere to put my big fluffy teddy coat, so I actually put it over the chair and makes the chair nice and warm. And usually I get pretty cold when I'm sitting here doing work for a while, so it's nice to just have it there to throw over. Here's my bag, pretty standard. Always keep my umbrella with me because you never know it's going to rain. And then right here in the desk, it comes with one drawer. And right here I just have like notebooks, post-its, sunglasses, clicker box, stapler, my notebooks, highlighter, scissors, my wallet, just literally everything I need. Then moving on top, I have my lamp right here that I use pretty often, especially when I'm doing work at night and my roommate wants to sleep. And then right here, this isn't the actual initial purpose for it, but I use the bottom tray to just put like bracelets, um, watches, earrings, everything like that. Right here are just two extra notebooks that I didn't need for today, so I left them out. Here's all the books that I've had to rent for my English class so far. Kind of sucks, so I just keep a stack right there. And then right here I have a mirror that I got from Marshalls a few years ago, tape dispenser, pens, a thing with hair ties and also some of my pills, and then a thing of makeup right here. And then also just my water bottles usually they're hopefully full because I always need water when I'm doing homework. And then this also comes with these two shelves on top, so going through the shelves, right here I put a command hook, I just keep all my necklaces, I'm wearing one right now too. Then here's like where my most of my decor is, so we'll start over here. My friend got me this sign that says I love New Jersey that I put right there. My friend made this for me that says we are, obviously with the logo. Here's a picture of Zach and I and a rock he gave me a while ago. Here's a trophy that I brought just to remind me of like cross country and I did have push ones in it but I took those out because I needed them for something else. Right here is a little dachshund stuffed animal that looks like my dog from home. And then right here I have a box of tissues. Going on top, here's another Bed Bath & Beyond bin that I keep these two containers that I got from Target in. This one has like the letters for my letter board and just like other jewelry that couldn't fit in the bottom. Then right here I have my headbands that I wear every day and I'm wearing one right now. I also have my Google Home that I couldn't set up with the Wi-Fi so I guess I'll just keep it unplugged. Extra deodorant and my face cloth. And then in this bin right here, 
which just has extra chargers, tickets from the games, tape, um, all the receipts for the textbooks that I had to get, letters and mail that people send me, so it's just like my everything thing. And this is from Target, even though it looks exactly the same as this, that it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. So right here I have my two hats that I hung up with Commandux as well, and I thought it'd be a nice decor and also just a good like, grab and go thing for my hats. So underneath I have my key and my lanyard, sorry you couldn't see that, lanyard for the BJC because I do work there. So if you come to a concert, look out for me. And then also this white pom-pom that I got from the Strikeout game when we played Pit. So I hope you were able to see this during the run through of the room, but here's a carpet that my friend, my friend, my roommate got from Target. I believe it was like $50 and it fits pretty well and it just like makes it look a little bit more homey and it's nice when we're just jumping off the bed with like a nice carpet underneath our feet. And then also Penn State gives you a fridge right here and it's actually a micro fridge so it comes with a microwave on top, freezer, fridge. We keep our Brita filters in there which is a great thing to get if you're coming to college. They also give you one trash can, but my roommate brought another, so this one's recycling and that one is for trash. Going up to the window, we actually have a pretty sizely windowsill. Like, I'm kind of sad we didn't get, like, a pillow to sit on it, but I don't know if we can because there is air conditioning and that's where it comes out of. This is my side, and I have this sign that says Penn State We Are, and I need to put something, like, more interesting on it, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. And then right here I have an A sign that lights up that's from my friend Kendall, Missy Kendall. And this little succulent that I made in an event here within the first few weeks. This little framed like sticker thing that I made with all the stickers I had from Penn State. And my speaker with this air freshener on top. My roommate's mom also sent us this like heart garland that does go across her window too, but she has her blinds closed. Sorry, there's the lighting. Then right here I have this popper that I got when Penn State toured my high school and my headband that is hung up with command hook as well. So the beds are lofted pretty high so that they can fit the drawers under here and I'm not going to go through just because that's like unnecessary but there's four drawers you can't really see the top one because my comforter but on top I keep t-shirts, second one I keep shorts, third one I keep pants, jeans, leggings, sweatpants, everything and on the bottom I have like my go-to shoes so I can just drag it out, stick my foot in and get my shoes on. Right here is the box that I um, brought my shoes down in and I usually grab my Burks or my flip-flops that I use for the shower pretty often so I just keep them right on top. Right here are those cubes that I've had for years which you can definitely tell because there's a lot of staining on it but in here there's hair on there I'm very sorry. In here I just keep sweatshirts and then the, sh the clothes that I wear to bed every night and you need one of these because it's a great storage and also to get up on this bed you can't even tell how high it is but it's so hard so I always just step on there. Over here we both have like an outlet so I keep my computer charger and my phone charger right there. Behind I have a hamper that's definitely full so I need to do my laundry soon. And also another drawer that isn't full right now but probably will be when my sweaters come. And they actually give you a nice like shelf underneath here. And all I really keep is um, my running shoes. So finally getting into the bed area. This is what my bed looks like. I literally just made it for this video so don't mind the folded up blanket. But my comforter is from... Amazon, my grandma got it for me, I think it was like 50 bucks, and it's ruched and everything, and it's gray. Blanket is from Target. I it a few years ago, but I usually sleep with it every night. My tapestry that says choose happy is from Amazon. My sister got it for me for my, not birthday, Christmas. And I hold it up with these command clips that are on top. Now as you, as you can see, going around, I have these lights that I got from Target that were like the five below section. They're cute decorations and also when they're lit up at night it's really nice and then behind here in my summer room i also had this i have my initials that i got from marshall's then i spray painted and hung them up with command velcro strips and then last but not least my pillows my friend who also gave me the i love new jersey sign maybe this and i love it because it reminds me of my hometown my grandma a few years ago got me this pillow that I believe is from Bed Bath & Beyond, this is Nap. A husband pillow that I have right here that is also gray is from Target. A lot of my friends also have these great investment for college. Behind I have a pillow that's just from home that I put um, the pillowcase that matched this set. And then behind I have two extra pillows that are navy and below my sheets are navy as well. So that's it for my room. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm sorry I rushed through it. I'm completely out of breath from talking the whole time. But that's just what a I wouldn't say typical Penn State dorm looks like, but that's what a renovated dorm will look like. And you can literally decorate it however you want. I'm probably going to keep adding things as the year goes on. But yeah, that is my dorm. I hope you enjoy. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and that's it.